the European Union has launched a set of initiatives that will position it as a leader in the fight against climate change. According to the New York Times, the measures would use tariffs and levies to achieve carbon emission objectives and would phase out new gas and diesel cars in 14 years. In nine years, glasshouse gas emissions would be cut by 55 percent from 1990 levels, putting the world on track to achieve the global objective of a carbon-neutral economy by 2050. Our existing fossil fuel economy has reached its limit, European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker said in a statement to CNN on Wednesday in Brussels, adding that these suggestions provide a roadmap to assist the EU achieve its goal. More Before taking effect, the idea would need to be approved by the European Parliament and the EU's 27 member states. Negotiations over the final form could be problematic, according to the BBC, there was already a lot of bickering over the original plans. The strategy would be as follows. Impose tariffs on items originating from countries outside the EU that do not have such strict environmental regulations. According to The Guardian, the carbon border adjustment tax would apply to steel, cement, and fertilizer imports from the United States, China, and Russia. The levy has been branded as anti-competitive. A charge on aviation fuel should be added. Low-carbon alternatives would be exempt from paying taxes for 10 years. Countries are being pushed to remodel buildings that aren't energy efficient as soon as possible raise the EU's renewable energy targets. The expense of heating a home and flying by plane will rise. This could come at a disproportionate cost to the poor. Protests, according to one official, may follow. We saw it in France, and it gave us the yellow vests, he explained. We're going to pull a lot of people, the EU's climate policy chief stated. We'll ask a lot of our industries as well, but we'll do it for a good reason, to give humanity a fighting chance. Complaints are coming from. A lobbyist said the plans might destabilize some industries, while an air freight group said punitive measures like taxes aren't needed to inspire change. Environmental organizations have expressed their gratitude for the initiative, but have stated that it is insufficient. This whole package is based on a target that is too low, doesn't stand up to science, and won't stop the destruction of our planet's life support systems, said the EU director of Greenpeace. Greta Thunberg who tweeted that the EU must restart or the Earth will not have a chance of surviving below 1.5 degrees Celsius of global warming.